This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth, coming at you here today with some breaking news on the shooting that happened last night in Lewiston, Maine. At least 18 people are dead, and as of the making of this video right now, the suspect, Robert Card, is still on the loose. Within hours, the media has already been talking about his alleged anti-transgender views as what may have potentially motivated him, even though the transgender shooter Audrey Hale's manifesto is still being held by the police. At the time of this shooting, the suspect, Robert Card, was a sergeant reserve first class in the Army Reserve. He was trained as a firearms instructor at a U.S. Army training reserve in Maine. And according to screen grabs and videos that were allegedly taken from his Facebook page, uh, he just recently ended a 20-year career with the Army. And he even has several awards, including a humanitarian service medal. So, they know this man. In fact, they know him very well. Commanders in the Army's reserves noticed that back in mid-July, Card was acting erratically at one of these uh, training facilities around these other unit members. Military commanders became so concerned that they even called the police. He was then taken to the Keller Army's community hospital for a psychiatric mental health evaluation. He was then released even though he previously reported to hearing voices. And he threatened to carry out a shooting at the military training base in Maine. And then, just three months later, he goes on this massive shooting rampage. So, it looks like we have yet another case here of a situation where the authorities have either made this happen on purpose, or they let it happen on purpose. So in today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive into this and look into separating all the facts from the fiction with this shooting that happened last night in Maine. But just before we do, I'd ask that you take a moment to check me out at pressfortruth.ca slash donate to financially contribute to my efforts to bring you this information. If that's something you're interested in doing, please check the top link in the description below of whatever video platform you happen to be watching this video on. Thank you so much to everyone who does take the time and effort to contribute to my work here at pressfortruth.ca slash donate. All right guys, as I said, the shooter, Robert Card, was hearing voices. His family said that he had recently suffered some hearing loss and so he had to get some hearing aids. And it was at this point in time when he got the hearing aids installed that he started hearing voices and he was convinced that these were people who were talking about him. His family members insisted that these voices were just in his head and that nobody is talking about him and that just made him even more angry. He had told them that he was hearing these voices especially when visiting a certain bowling alley and bar. So when these same family members heard that there was a shooting at these very places, they immediately knew that he was the one the authorities were gonna be looking for. The Biden regime, of course, immediately called for gun control before the bodies were even cold. And Vice President Kamala Harris even tweeted one day before the shooting that Congress must pass an assault rifles ban immediately. Folks, this case is clearly a mental health issue, and to try to make it about guns is just being intellectually dishonest. I wanna know what kind of SSRI drugs this guy was taking, if any. Because more often than not, we find out that these shooters are on antidepressants, and this is something that should not go overlooked. Or what was his relationship with his father like? More often than not, these mass shooters have a terrible relationship with their dads, if one at all. Why did the authorities ignore the mental health issues of a man who has tactical military training? Especially when he's already threatened to shoot up his own training reserve in Maine. Why are they so quick to cite right-wing extremism? Because he allegedly had anti-transgender views. While at the same time, they're hiding the manifesto of an actual transgender shooter. My friends, it's getting more and more obvious that the U.S. wants to just completely abolish the Second Amendment. And they're going to continue to use events like this to try to do just that. But we're not stupid. 
We know that taking guns away from the good guys is only going to empower the bad guys. And the bad guys in this situation are Robert Card and the military commanders who knew his plans and let it happen anyways. My friends, this of course is a developing story as I speak, so please stay tuned for any updates. And remember, this is not the kind of information that you're gonna get on the six o'clock news. So please share this video with your friends and your family who you think need to see it the most. And also don't forget to check me out at pressfortruth.ca slash donate if you would like to make a financial contribution to my efforts here at Press For Truth to bring you this information. So once again, thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I can't do this work without you. And uh, that's all for today. Just wanted to bring all of this to your attention. Once again, guys, click that thumbs up button, share this video, and stay tuned. We're gonna have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press For Truth. We all want truth. truth. Truth will set you free.